Hello and welcome to Thought Provoking Tech. I'm Zach and this is Tech Tips. In this episode of Tech Tips, I'm continuing my Liquid Sky uh, testing uh, with uh, Rocket League. Uh, so as you can see, uh, Rocket League is playing uh, in the top of the screen. I don't know if you can actually see that or not, but there's a banner there indicating the total latency, uh, which is hovering between a low of 37 I just saw and a high in the low 60s. Uh, and that is not a weather forecast, even though it kind of sounded like it. <laughs> uh, so there is a, a pretty high amount of uh, ping. Um, it's not atr completely atrocious, but it is uh, higher than definitely some people would definitely want. Uh, however, something to keep in mind is that um, the latency between you and the Rocket League server itself is actually pretty good. Uh, I've done some samples of that and it hovers around um, 36 appears to be the low and uh, something closer to uh, the, the mid 40s appears to be kind of where it kind of uh, averages out on the high end of things. Uh, so all in all with the, the low latency that you're experiencing on the server itself, although there's someone there with apparently a zero ping, which is just ridiculous. Uh, I have played with people um, whose ping averaged around 80 to 100. So if you take your ping between the your cl local client to the cloud station or to the uh, Liquid Sky uh, cloud gaming platform and then the uh, ping between it and uh, the Rocket League server, it averages out to you know, be pretty close to what some people actually play with just between their computer and the uh, the Rocket League servers. Um, it is definitely very playable. It's not something I would recommend if you're like super competitive uh, or want to be competitive in Rocket League, but just on in general, it is uh, definitely playable. Um, other than the fact that I am utterly horrible at Rocket League, uh, I would probably give this game uh, an A in the playability on in liquid sky uh, if you have a good internet connection it's definitely going to be uh, unplayable but one thing to keep in mind is this requires about six megabit per second uh on average from my testing with a 1080p stream uh at tr uh tr streaming at, at on the 60 fps uh setting uh you can can turn that down by going all the way down to 30 fps uh and uh 720p uh, to lessen the bandwidth requirements if you do not have as fast as internet. Uh, I, as I was doing a lot of uh, testing with this uh, Liquid Sky client, I looked up my actual internet connection and I pay for a 10 megabit uh, downstream connection. I didn't, it didn't mention straight on the website and it wasn't easily accessible uh, what my upstream is advertised at, but I, I remember it either at half or one megabit per second. Uh, and in reality, it's actually close, pretty close to about a half a megabit per second up, upstream. Rocket League does, or not Rocket League, but the Liquid Sky client doesn't require a lot of upstream though. So if you don't have as much like me, uh, and most people have asymmetrical uh, interconnections, uh, that isn't going to be a big deal. It's really going to be your downstream. So if you don't have a very fast interconnection in your house and other people are going to be Netflix streaming, you're definitely going to uh, experience performance uh Impact. Even if you can stream, you might have hitches and stuff, which will make the game unplayable, especially for a fast-paced game like this, where you know going from 60 uh, milliseconds might not be make it a game breaker, but going all the way up to you know 120, double the the latency, will definitely be a game breaker uh, for your experience with uh, gaming. Um, so other than that. Uh, the latency between um, the actual Rocket, Rocket League uh, server and uh, the Liquid Sky client has been pretty close to being a very reliable. Uh, not a lot of change uh, in the uh, speed that it gets. It almost always is around 36 uh, and sometimes 40 and kind of maxing out around 44. Um, with occasional spikes a little bit above that, uh, but the ping that this server gets is actually pretty good. And I don't know exactly which server I'm connected to now. I have the two US servers selected as two possibilities, uh, but I don't know which one I'm actually connected to at the start of this uh, video. 
So, in short, I would give uh, Rocket League an A. Um, there are some hitches that you might experience. Like I said, if someone is watching Netflix or if your internet uh, has uh, hitches, you'll notice that the game will pause for a second, possibly. I have had this happen once in Rocket League, uh, but I've turned everything off uh, in my house that is going to use bandwidth um, simply because I don't have a huge amount of bandwidth. If you have like a 50 megabit plan, uh, you could definitely even uh, play uh and have someone else like netflix streaming or something like that um so it is an out of, out of line uh with, especially with a lot of people having a lot better internet connections that you could uh have a multi-family or multi-device home with people streaming uh netflix and something as well as uh you still being able to um play on your cloud gaming client uh if you don't have a, very, a great gaming computer So I'm just going to finish out this game uh, and then at the end of this video I, I will, as I'm doing the conclusion, I will go ahead and put the uh, kind of the bandwidth um, ping uh, chart, uh, taking a sample probably a high and a low from each uh, second, uh, roughly, roughly a second. Uh, that way you get a good sample of kind of what you're going to experience on the high end and low end of your ping and kind of showcase that over the entire uh, the game uh, stream. So you just have a good example of what is is uh, actually feasible uh, with the Liquid Sky client, um, and that this is definitely something that is definitely going to be trial and error uh, between your connection uh, it, itself and the Liquid Sky uh, servers. The, they are, I think, still rolling out new servers, so it really depends on how close you are to the server, and, and that's going to dictate uh, the base amount of latency that you're going to be getting. Uh, I usually ho hover around 30 to the 60. I occasionally spike higher than that and uh, very seldomly I will spike or have lows below that. But for the most part, it's uh, between uh, 30 and 60. And so far between this and some testing at Overwatch, uh, which I haven't recorded yet, because uh, I like to play uh, for a while. Um, uh, this is probably my seventh or eighth uh, game of Rocket League, uh, just because I want to get a nice... Uh, example of what is actually uh, going on and I don't want to have just play one game uh, and say hey it worked once and kind of say that and then experience uh, future games uh, with absolutely n uh, horrible experience just because I had one good experience that I wanted to uh, just want to make sure that I report a good example of what is actually uh, possible with the Liquid Sky client. Uh, but in my games, I haven't had really any hitches at all. Uh, like I said, it did have like one little hitch once, uh, but it wasn't game changing uh, or game breaking. Uh, the game still went on just fine. And, and beyond that, I haven't really had any issues with uh, the graphics. This isn't a graphically int intensive game. Uh, so um, I w wasn't really expecting that there. That's kind of why I picked Rocket League is because it's such uh, a fast paced game that it's just going to be a good test of just the... Um, latency and not really other factors uh, uh, of uh, <laughs> Rocket League uh, or uh, of gaming in general because some games uh, are also fast paced like Overwatch but can also be graphically demanding while Rocket League is not graphically demanding it's just really a, a demand depending on your uh, speed so this might not be a great example of you know a game you would actually play uh, simply because of is not requiring a very fat, uh, beefy computer. It doesn't take much to actually play Rocket League. It's more so uh, in in the vein of just demonstrating how the uh, the ping with the Liquid Sky client can be viable even with a fast paced game. So I hope this video was informative. Uh, I hope you found it entertaining. Uh, I hope that uh, my horrible performance in Rocket League wasn't um, too embarrassing. Uh, I'm not definitely not embarrassed from it, but I definitely will be the first to admit that I am not great at Rocket League. Rocket League. So, uh, if you found this video entertaining and informative, make sure you give it a big like. Uh, that helps the video in general as well as the channel on the, as a whole, and I do greatly appreciate that feedback. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great videos in the future. Uh, continuing this Liquid Sky um, demonstration, uh, possibly with some different games. I'm planning on doing one with Overwatch. Uh, I might, as we get to the more graphically intensive games, I might try to do some uh, t videos um, 
that kind of fine tune and uh, make sure give you just tips to uh, tune the settings to have the best experience as possible. Even with my mediocre internet, which there's definitely people that have lesser internet, uh, but even with mine, I haven't had to turn the settings down from the 1080p 60 FPS, but I might experiment with that uh, it, in certain cases. Um, pretty much if I play Netflix though, this is completely unplayable. So I don't uh, really have a good way to dial down my connection uh, while still having something that's still playable. Um, so thanks for watching guys. I hope you uh, did like this video and stay tuned for more great videos from Thought Provoking Tech. Thank you.